Welcome back to Video Therapy. I'm your host, Forty. Why don't we start off with the meme of the day? Whoopsh. Motherfuckers nowadays looking like a desk in detention, yo. <laughs> ah, well, I mean, if you guys know me, obviously I'm a fan of tattoos. And the one piece of advice I can give you is don't be a cheap ass. <laughs> You get what you pay for. If, you, if you're scrounging for change, like at one of the dollar men, he's like, yo, yo, I got 47 cents, yo. Put one of the haws here. We get back to the rest of the haws later. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Save your money. You get what you pay for, 100%. This kind of bridges us into today's topic. I mean, usually the memes do not always. but So today's topic is about a city in Spain, in the north, called Estella or Estella. Spain. It's 44 kilometers southwest of Pamplona. And these guys have this old statue uh, of San Jorge or Saint George. He's the patron saint of the crown of Aragon, right? Anyways, he was part of the Praetorian Guard, right? Or at least rumor has it, right? He was part of the Praetorian Guard. And what they were in charge of is uh, looking after Roman emperors. He was of uh, Greek origin, right? He was a Greek, but he was part of the Roman guard. And at one point, Diocletian, the emperor that he served, said that all of the Roman guards need to denounce their Christian faith or they will be punished or killed or whatever. So, upon hearing this, San Jorge or, or St. George said, you know what? I'm going to die, yo. <laughs> so he freed his slaves, he distributed his wealth, and he went to meet his face. Diocletian said, renounce your faith, and I will give you riches, I will give you land, etc. And he said, nah, I don't roll like that, yo. Kill me. <laughs> and so he did. <laughs> April 23rd, 303, he's dead, yo. But I guess if it's any condolences to his family, he got all kinds of holidays and he's got songs written after him, etc. All you have to do is believe in something that's not real and die for it and there will be songs written about you. <laughs> now it seems like there, the songs would be entitled Dumbass, but back then different, right? I don't get it. You know, I get that religion teaches people a set of morals, but that can go either way, right? It's like, don't steal, don't kill, don't fuck your neighbor's wife. I mean, in, even if you're religious, it doesn't mean you don't do those things, right? And it's not just extremists who are motherfuckers. Nobody loves you like your mama loves you, but who's loving your mama? I, 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 or sister fuckers, or whatever. There are bad seeds in every bunch. I think now society, our families, our friends, they can teach us and hold us accountable to be good people. So religion is not necessary. Anyways, let's get back to the topic. So these guys have this old statue, right? And they decide that they're going to get it restored. And instead of spending the money on somebody who, this is their job, they do restorations for a living. It's their bread and butter, they live it, they breathe it, they're known for it, there's articles written about them. Instead of paying one of those guys, they go to the McDonald's dollar menu guy and they're like, yo, and it, it turns out the guy's an art teacher. <laughs> I don't know what kind of fucking art this guy teaches, but maybe illustration of comics or or like he's a prank artist, or <laughs> I don't know. Like his, he's definitely not a painter, and he's for sure not a restorer because of the job that he did. Uh. Anyway, so he does this, and obviously the city officials are fucking appalled. <laughs> it's a shit job, right? I mean, if it was meant as a joke, well done. But <laughs> and that also you have to think: like, did you do this on purpose? But then probably not, because it's a small town that he lives in. I mean, the people are going to be like fucking booing him. He's not going to get any more art students. He's for sure not getting laid. But then again, if you're such a poor painter, it makes sense. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? The, the best part is that after this is released, that of course there are tweets that go out on Twitter. I can't even believe anyone uses that shit. But anyways, there's tweets on Twitter and there's, there's newspaper articles that are talking about Estella is not, um, 
known for their historical artistic uh, renovation achievements. Now we're a laughing stock kind of thing, whatever. And then the pictures that go out as jokes, like putting different heads on the restoration, I'm gonna show some of them, are hilarious, right? In fact, I should do a restoration with my face on the statue. <laughs> Guys, I don't know, what do you think? What do you think of the restoration? The city officials said they believe this, uh, the art teacher had good intentions, but just didn't to do well. Would you hold him accountable if you paid him for the restoration? I'm assuming he got paid. Maybe he did it for free, right? We don't know that. But free or not, would you hold him accountable? And then don't you agree that usually you get what you pay for? If, <laughs> if you go to McDonald's, you get something off the dollar menu and it slowly is killing you, well, you get what you pay for. Eat something healthy, yo. <laughs> Although you could eat healthy for relatively inexpensive these days. Get a fruit. Anyway, I ramble. <laughs> Guys, today marks week 10 sober. <laughs> no hard drugs, no alcohol. I feel good. I've lost a little bit of weight and I'm working out like five, six days a week, very consistent, and trying to up it, not necessarily the amount of days, but like intensity. I need to add cardio, I keep saying, I haven't done yet. I also said I might create a channel talking about the, the journey to get in shape and possibly get a six pack. I haven't done that yet, this week has been tough. I got some rough news from a friend who's dealing with a loss in his family, and yeah. So, Guys, I hope you like this episode uh, next week. I do have other things in the work. I know I always say this, but I'm trying to be consistent, keep things going in a positive way, make you guys laugh a little bit. And if these videos make you laugh, please share them with your friends. I love you guys. Until next time, also have a good weekend. I'm out.